Back live in New York City, Hadoop World 2011, SiliconAngle.com's continuous deep in-depth coverage of Hadoop World 2011, uh, put on by Cloudera, sponsored by Cloudera. We're here because of Cloudera, and I'm joined by, of course, my favorite guests of the day, the Silicon Angle editorial team, Alex Williams and Clint Finley, guys. We're in New York together as a team, the Cube, the bloggers, Kristen's here. What are you guys seeing out there? You've been roaming the hallways. We got the guys back at the ranch, <clears throat> banging out posts, curating video. Uh, I see Silicon Angle uh, has been excited to have you guys join the team. It's been great. Alex uh, and Clint, uh, the coverage has been fantastic. The quality of the in-depth conversations and stories around enterprise, around services angle has been fantastic. And we're just getting started. It's exciting. It is. But, but here at Hadoop World, what, uh, what, what's, what are you seeing? I'm seeing a few themes emerge. I mean, I, I talked to a woman over lunch today who's still trying to figure figure things out, like understand what are the critical components that she really needs you know, when they develop, for instance, a Hadoop connector. You know, what, what do they really need to do? And on the other conversation I'm hearing too is the continued quest for simplicity and, and the ability to make this, you know, a technology that really is something that people can use outside of data scientists, not just the data scientists, but everyone really inside the organization who can use it. So starting to try to find ways to like adapt to do into, for instance, in particular industry market sectors in the way that they do analytics so everyone can use it. Yeah, so, I've been seeing a lot of that too. Uh, one thing I noticed was that uh, Aster Data has been getting a ton of traffic to their booth and I think that speaks to two things, both the, the, see, the seeking simplicity because their solution is a SQL to MapReduce product that can connect to Hadoop, so it can simplify Hadoop by giving people access to the traditional SQL interface that they're used to, but it could also act as an alternative to Hadoop. And we're not seeing a whole lot of people talking about alternatives to Hadoop here because it is a Hadoop conference and a lot of people are already using Hadoop, but it's, uh, you know, the barbarians are at the gates here with uh, HPCC and Microsoft has some alternatives and there's something that came out of University of Berkeley called Spark. So there's a bunch of alternatives to Hadoop cropping up now as well as uh, the Astro Data product. So there's a lot of people have been going there, so I don't know if it's because they're looking for the simplicity or if it's because they're actually thinking, well, maybe we could just replace Hadoop with this. And it won't work for, you know, as a straight up Hadoop replacement in all circumstances, but it's, uh, it's definitely a possibility for some workloads. So we've been on theCUBE doing the interviews. One of the things that, that's great about theCUBE is we get to do the interviews and meet all the great smart people, but we missed the session. So um, question for both of you guys is, what's the vibe of the show? And two, what's on the ground news and rumors you're hearing? Lots, lots, of, uh, lots of talk in the hallways. A lot of people very, you know, I'm hearing a lot of conversations about the real time requirements that they're seeing are going to be increasingly needed and how they don't really see it quite yet in Hadoop, and that speaks again to the type of efforts like that Twitter's using, right, with uh, with Spark. Uh, and Storm, how that, actually, for Storm, Twitter. excuse yeah. me. And how Storm you know, can provide that kind of real-time capabilities. The real-time, uh, one of the real-time sessions was overflowing. Um, you know, I think Jeff was Is saying that. Is that Jonathan Gray's session? Yeah, I believe Facebook it was. Facebook was just on the queue. Yep, and so, you know, so there's a real need for that real-time information. Clint, what are you seeing for uh, the vibe of the show, news on the ground, rumors? Come on, anything? Uh, I, I think one of the big things I've been seeing on the ground is just people really want to know what to do and how to do it. So I, I went to a session on uh, Hadoop operations, and they had people from uh, AOL Advertising, AT&T and, uh, Interactive, and Facebook who are, you know, have these really large deployments of Hadoop and HBase. And they were there talking about you know, some of the common problems, how to uh, do capacity planning for Hadoop and stuff like that, and you know, that, that was a big deal for, I, for participants. I think really there's, you know, the, the story that we're hearing is still, is, is also about the tension out there. I mean, we do hear talk about Cloudera, we hear talk about Hortonworks. People aren't really sure at times what the direction is, you know, where Hadoop is actually going, and you know, I think those kind of issues that we're seeing kind of in the general press are, are showing up in the crowd who are here. Which panels did you guys attend? Um, did you attend many panels? Uh, just the uh, operations one that I was just talking about. Yeah, 
I, I've been mostly spending my time out in the lobby talking to folks. Okay, what did uh, you put up for posts? Any good posts? I didn't haven't checked the site yet. What did you guys post today? Well, I, I thought the uh, the funding story is interesting, and so I wrote about that today, about five reasons why, you know, this uh, fund is is going into effect right now. And essentially, it's because you know what Mike Olson was saying in his session with you is that you need these apps, you need these these apps, these big data apps to kind of like build up the ecosystem because there's so many needs, you know, for. Uh, this new generation of apps and either in mobile, security, CRM, you name the market. I actually didn't post much about Hadoop today that we haven't already seen uh, on the cube so far today. Uh, but last week I posted uh, a post about alternatives to Hadoop, uh, which again ties into that, that people seeking other possibilities such as Storm and Spark. One other thing I like to add is like I think one of the exciting stories too is 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 Dell. Dell, Dell. Dell seems like they're really on, you know, at this event. They uh, they open source um, uh, Crowbar, uh, the uh, and, and they with that they they have also open sourced their what they call is these uh, bar clamps, which allows you to really kind of like. Um, you we know, had Barton to, on the cube, Barton yeah. George. You talked about yep. how he's got Chef kind of tucked in the middle, and that's the DevOps, in. and that's the DevOps story right there. You know, and I think that's going to be an increasing story that we hear about, and you see it in like what people are talking about in the need for in the need for skill, the need for people with really good skills. They, the, the DevOps um, issue is going to be a big one. Going well, why forward. don't we take this time to opportunity to announce that Silicon Angle is going to be launching a DevOps Angle dedicated section around DevOps, because uh, we're going to do that. Um, we're looking for some sponsors, so uh, you know, if you're interested in supporting DevOps, we'd love to uh, get some sponsorship and expand the coverage, but uh, Clint and Alex and myself and uh, with the Wikibon team, we'll start to see much more focused content around the DevOps trend, which we've been following for a couple of years, but it, you know, Clint, you and I were talking last night about how this is going mainstream, Alex, and you pointed out that you know, this developer angle is really, and we just heard Facebook just say it, the enterprises who have operations and engineering separate are not in a good position, and that at Facebook, dev, dev, develops and operations are integrated. Yeah, and well, so it this has is to clearly be the trend. It has to be integrated if you're dealing with Hadoop. Uh, DevOps is, Hadoop is going to be a big thing for DevOps, because you've got clusters, you know, say, of 600 servers. You, you're going to have to have automation, you're going to have to have automated configuration tools to manage that many servers. And because Hadoop <clears> is so focused on what developers are doing with it, de develop, developers and operations have to work closely together to keep uh, Hadoop It ties into our Hadoop properly. coverage, it ties into our cloud coverage. So DevOps is hot for us. If you have DevOps content, uh, you want to come and talk to us, we want a brief, briefing with you. If you're launching DevOps products, email us at SiliconANGLE. Uh, reach out to us, we're interested in hearing your story. You know, sponsorships aside, you know, all, all, all cheekiness there. I mean, we're interested in sponsorships, but really we're more interested in high quality content and obviously any cube opportunities we can have with DevOps, we're highly interested in. So, you know, reach out to us. Um, Alex, what's your view about how this relates to the enterprise? We heard different kind of cube stories today around the enterprise. We heard Cloudera saying big data is about where the data originates. We've heard um, Informatica saying, well, it's not that simple, this transactional system with the nanosecond layer, it's all about Wall Street. So, you know, structured data is now a big part. We heard Ativio talking about how they have this really cool graph uh, algorithms with their, their index. So, a lot of kind of cool different perspectives depending on how you look at the problem. What are you seeing and what's your take on that and how are you, how are you, how are you chasing those stories now? Yeah, um, actually, I think what we're seeing here is that Hadoop is still quite immature. It has a long way to go. It, uh, the development uh, around it is, uh, you know, is, is still kind of in, in, in its infancy, and we see that in a, num in a number of ways. I mean, what release is Hadoop on now? Point two, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and so that's really, I mean, it's not even at 1.0, right? And so, so we're, we're seeing something that's still very, very young. And people just are trying to understand, well, what do you layer on top of Hadoop? You know, how do you use HBase? You know, how do you use, you know, all these, all these different layers that are coming out of the open source community? And plus then you have the open source community and some people think it's a bit of a mess, you know, the Apache community around Hadoop. And in addition to that, you know, you have the vendors. And so how are the vendors and the open source community going to start, you know, working together more? And Todd, Todd yeah. uh, Peppa, 
P at Avery Ventures, actually Yahoo, can't even say his name. I had written down, but the notebook's gone. Uh, he's really, I liked his conversation. He was really talking about the app, the application um, market really being a driver and yeah, the app of, appization of it. And I think some that's, cool a, things. That's, that's an area that's untouched right now. It's right. totally fertile. Yeah. There's some apps on top of it. And he used the example of how Oracle, when they came out as a startup, yeah, there was some instant database apps. And he said, quote, it wasn't easy to use. Yeah. And, but they still built apps. So he, he believes that we're going to have this long three to five year cycle of major application development with ease of use getting better more on the back end of that time frame. And um, <clears throat> I think you're going to see some really powerful web apps come out of come out of this that won't come out of the enterprise. They'll be continue to be these very awesomely powerful startups that will do incredible things we like couldn't even imagine with music for instance right yeah. and uh, or for optimizing the battery on your your Android device just all these little little things that can make a big difference in your life the enterprise you know you have to be really an engineering focused organization to really take advantage of Hadoop and fortune 500 companies they don't want a bunch of geeks yeah, yeah. running around, you know. Uh, so I, I got to ask you guys, and I kind of already know, know the answer because I know you guys, but I wanted to kind of get a conversation going on it is that uh, Dave and I were talking about uh, cloud washing and how that term has become synonymous with people just slapping the word cloud on their solutions. And uh, it's, an, it's a negative term. It means they're just you know, taking something old and saying it's cloud and hope that they get traction. So I introduced the concept of Hadoop washing. And then, you know, Dave said it should be big data washing. Yeah. Um, we haven't even, no one said that yet uh, about this market, but, you know, eventually when it hits a hype cycle like this, you're going to start to see some of the bigger players come in that are more of the entrenched right. vendors. We're seeing some of that here with Oracle's here. Uh, we you mentioned Astro Dave, which has a lot of traffic to their booth. I mean, I'm not saying that they're Hadoop washing, but, you know, as journalists, right, you know, you know and, and sourcing data from the web, which we always do, and talking to PR firms, what's your radar for, for uh, Hadoop washing? How do you guys, you know, how are you thinking about figuring out Hadoop washing versus the uh, uh, real deal. I mean, how are you yeah. guys vetting that? It just, I mean, not that there is an answer, it's just, you know, you, I mean, you guys are seasoned journalists, you're out there. I mean, when do you hear something, you go, that's fucking bullshit. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, in terms of Hadoop washing, it's, 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 it's not really, we haven't, I haven't seen it happening much yet, but there's there are definitely things that I need to look into more because uh, every uh, BI or data warehousing company now either has a Hadoop connector or they're going to have a Hadoop connector. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of questions about why do you need a Hadoop connector on this? Uh, so far, it's, it's mostly making sense. I, I haven't seen anything yet that I've seen and, like, and been like, why do you need a Hadoop connector? Uh, but It's I'm, all been I'm, legitimate for now on the surface. Be right, because so far... Not enough people know what Hadoop is for for anyone to make it worth Hadoop washing. But I I, I agree with you. I think it's going to happen, and I really it's, the the first step is just going to be. Um, and I think uh, the COO of Cloudera this morning uh, said this as well: is that you, you're just going to have to look at the applications and see does it make any sense to have have this connected to Hadoop or have Hadoop be a part of this? I th yeah, I think that I think that's exactly right. But I think the difference between when you look at Hadoop, and you the term Hadoop, and you look at the term big data, I think there's a real difference. There's some fundam, there's some underpinnings underneath Hadoop, right? But what is big data? You know, it, it, it's a, it's about as ephemeral phrase as the cloud. Sir, certainly sounds yeah. good. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna want to sell to the enterprise, they all want big data. Yeah, that, and that that absolutely uh. is happening. Where you're you're seeing you know any product that deals with data in any way now is being uh, marketed as big data. And it's, it's interesting, you know, maybe a year ago, any time I got a pitch for something that said big data in it, I paid attention because it wasn't it wasn't incredibly frequent and it was usually relevant. Now, if somebody says big data just in a uh, message header, I almost want to block it out because it just comes in so often. I think you need to be very careful when you're watching the legacy vendors out there, the, you know, the, the big technology giants who have had their you know, who've, who've built their power basically, you know, on, on the backs of these enterprise apps that are basically solutions oriented, you know, that really don't embrace NoSQL at all or don't em embrace kind of that whole big data philosophy that you see from companies like Twitter and Facebook and Google and Amazon Web Services who are very innovative, very fast, 
and, and, and very, very popular. You know, and that's a, there's, there's, you always think you need to think about the new players and the old players and how they're trying to get to the middle to really kind of reach that larger market. Hey, we're here at Silicon Angles, Alex Williams and Clint Finley inside the Cube, um, live in New York City at Hadoop World 2011, where we are tracking and covering like a blanket the big data market. Hadoop is obviously the big enabler on this platform, new applications, things we're going to stand on top of it. We're going to be tracking it every day. Parting thought and question for you guys, and then we'll call it a wrap, and we'll go uh, for you guys is, what are you guys tracking right now for stories? Share with the audience um, what's on your hot list. What are you What are you into? We just talked about DevOps, but what else uh, is on your list uh, for tonight, tomorrow, this week, just in general, the coverage areas that you're looking at? Sure. Uh, like we already mentioned, tools that are trying to, that are trying to help people make Hadoop more accessible. Karmasphere is big on our radar right now. Uh, Alex, um, definitely. Uh, you know, is Hadoop ready for the Fortune 1000? That's really the story that I'm working on. How about on. Oracle? They're here. That's a you big know, story, I, right? I, I would really I like mean, to hear more about Oracle from, you know, from, you know, here at this event. I think they're definitely worth looking at. I'm trying to get some more information on them, and it has, it's been hard to find. I've actually been, uh, I was worried Oracle was going to kind of come in here and do a lot of chest thumping and try to drown everybody out and... Uh, hijack the conversation, but uh, they haven't really done that, so uh, you know, good on them for that. They have the sponsored tweet, though, for uh, the Hadoop World. Uh, Very tab. clever of yes. them. Clever of them. Yep. Okay, guys, thanks so much.